It's Tuesday, June 25th, which is a bit early for us to start an event vlog, but I mentioned in my last vlog that this is a Hawaiian themed event for Aloha Saturday, and I don't have anything Hawaiian themed yet, but I did just get my package of special Hawaiian themed stickers just for this event. I ordered it in very small quantities, so when they're gone, they're gone, but I thought it'd be fun to unbox them together and kind of like react. I have a total of one, two, three, four, five. I have six of them. Um, these are actually designs I made like, I wanna say like three years ago when I really just started selling stickers for the first time. And I wasn't really sure like what kind of stickers I wanted to sell and I just drew everything. So I was scrolling through my Procreate one day and I was like, oh my gosh, these are kind of cute. So I was like, let's bring them back. Okay, starting off with, okay, first off we've got, this is Chinaman's hat right off the coast of, um, oh, is it Kolau? something like that, the Kolau mountain range. Chinaman's Hat is an island that I used to kayak to and hike when I lived out there. And isn't it so cute? This was actually um, a commission request from my sister-in-law and I found this art piece and I was like, oh, this would be so great for this weekend. So anyone who's in Hawaii knows about Chinaman's Hat. Next, we've got that shine. Hold on, let me open this up. This sticker is inspired by Ho'omaluhia gardens, botanical gardens. I lived basically in Kaneohe, so that was the side of the island I spent most of the time on, right at the bottom of the Koalau mountain range. They're gorgeous. It's the mountain range you see in the Jurassic Park movies. Um, but there's a botanical garden out there that has, it's like iconic for its beautiful drives. Um, you'll notice my art style is like slightly different from like this. That's because this is a few years apart from each other, but it's just something I wanted to make. And then it says adventure on the bottom. <laughs> Even though it's not a style I would make anymore, I think it's super cute. I'm thinking about posting them online, we'll see. It's kind of fun to see like my old art style and like, I don't know, it's not bad. It's just so different from what I used to draw. Okay, this one is just a cute little hula girl. You can see some of the anime influence already coming through. But she's cutie. She's got like the, again, Koalau Mountain Range in the background. But yeah, she's just a cute little Hawaiian girl. This one is much as I like it, it's also giving a little bit of live, laugh, love, um, but <laughs> Hawaiian style. You'll see what I'm talking about when I open it up. But I think, I still think it's cute and I think a lot of people will think it's cute too. Just a little sticker that says, Aloha and cursive. Yeah, nothing too fancy. Got two more left. This next one I think is really, really cute. And this is inspired by the Honu or the turtle in Hawaii. And then I've got the turtle outline. And then once again, we've got the Kola mountain range. That was like one of my favorite things about living there. Um, where I lived was at the base. So I would open the windows and I would see the mountain range. And when it's rainy, there's waterfalls all over the mountain range. It's gorgeous. And it's like, it's not something people talk about a lot but they should because it's insanely beautiful. Anyways, here we've got turtle, aloha down there in the bottom. We've got a hibiscus flower and I think it'll fit in with my whole flower sticker collection well. If it sells well, I'll keep them around because I think it's beautiful. So yeah, those are all the stickers. Let's see if I can get one of each showing up here. Yay! And then I am gonna have like a sticker, sticker pack deal where I'll have all of them available for a discounted price, so. Cutie! I hope they sell. Please, please, please buy these. <laughs> Hello! We're here for Aloha Saturday at Elk Grove at Old Town Plaza. And we're just a little bit late to finish setting up, but what else is new? Um, weather's going to be great today. We've brought along Evie, so hopefully she'll attract some customers and get some good exercise. Um, there is a DJ, like, right over there, so I don't know how audio is going to turn out. Hopefully it turns out okay. But I'm really excited. I'm dressed for the occasion. Got the classic styrofoam flower everyone gets in Hawaii, and this is actually a dress I bought at Savers when I used to live in Hawaii. So I feel very authentic today. <laughs> but I'm excited for today's event. Um, we are super low on stock for like a lot of apparel, so I don't really know how I'm expecting today's turnout. But I'm not expecting it to be as good as like cherry blossom here back in March. We'll see.
back from playing. I, <laughs> I spent the first like three hours of the event just going around playing. My parents and Danny were here, so I'm gonna be good now and I'm gonna stay here. Um, I don't know how that audio is gonna turn out with the music in the background, but in real life it's beautiful. Uh, it's giving Waikiki, like downtown, with the heat paired with the island vibes. It's really cute. Um, overall, this event hasn't been as good as the Cherry Blossom Festival event back in March, but given how affordable the booth fee is paired with just like the overall fun vibes and the fact that sales are still pretty good, I'm not mad at it at all. Um, whether or not I'll do it again is yet to be seen. We've still got two more hours, so if I can hit a certain point, I would definitely do it again, but otherwise it might have just been like a nice fun one-off. The live performances are my favorite part of this event. Earlier we had hula and Tahitian dancing, and I genuinely got a little bit emotional during the hula dancing. There's something about hula dancing that's just like so sweet and beautiful. I just kept thinking about how much I miss Hawaii, so <laughs> I like teared up a little bit, but no one saw me, so it's fine. The Tahitian dancing was just really fun. I really like this event. Even if I don't come back to sell, I will definitely come back to attend. It's just so cute. So let's talk about the best sellers. Here's what the whole booth looked like. But let's zoom in a little bit closer. We can see mystery bags sold well. I really can't think of an event where mystery bags don't sell well. So I always try to make sure that they're stocked, but they did good here today. And then obviously my Hawaiian stickers were doing pretty good. Not as good as I had hoped because I still had a good number of extras left over so i do plan on listing those online make sure to watch the recap for a special little discount code i want to offer you guys but i sold a few of them i would have liked to sell more and then as usual apparel sold pretty good i did a soft launch of a new tote bag design that i have and i will go into more detail about this bag for next week's event but yeah overall pretty decent little bit more than an hour until it's over it is pretty slow so i can see us probably packing up around like 2 30 ish um yeah not quite what i was expecting but definitely not bad either i am pretty happy with today i just don't i'm still deciding if i'll do this again in the future oh also another thing to keep in mind is that um i'm pretty sold out after lumbia fest there's a lot of designs i like don't have in certain sizes so it's not necessarily the worst thing that today is slow. Still a decent profit, so I'm not disappointed at all. Originally, we were thinking of packing up early, but we're still getting sales. So I'm like, yeah, why not? We're just sitting here hanging out. It's been a really easy day. So, you know, we'll just, this is what I'd be doing at home, except now I'm doing it outside making money. So, but yeah, we got about 20 minutes and then it ends at three, which is like pretty early for an event. So we might go find something fun to do. Probably hunt down in a fish store for Cody to look at, even though he just got some new fish yesterday. <laughs> recap I do have some extras of the Hawaiian stickers and the sticker packs that I made I want to list these online for some of you guys um, especially because my viewers are so great here on YouTube you guys are the best and if you're interested in these stickers they'll be listed at the in-person price deal which is the sticker pack for 15 or if you're watching this video specifically I'm gonna have a little special coupon code here you can get this whole pack for 12. this code is not applicable to the individual stickers just the whole stickers but still six stickers for 12 bucks is a really great deal and this is only for anyone who's watching this video so if you're interested in this you can go ahead and check that out there will be an expiration date these are just basically gonna be once they're gone they're gone the link is in my description and my Etsy if you're interested let's talk Aloha Saturday yay sorry I'm like I got this new shirt and like, 
it's cute but it's a halter top and halter tops make me feel like i'm choking backwards if that makes sense Quick recap, Aloha Saturday took place on June 29th in Elk Grove. The hours were from 10 to three, so she was short and sweet. And I have done one event in the same location previously. I'll attach it in the cards. It was a cherry blossom festival. I think it's my best single day event ever. I don't remember. It's either that or like Nikkei Matsuri, but like it was a really great single day event. So I had pretty high hopes for this event going into it. And I'll be honest, I was a little disappointed. I did not get very close at all to the numbers i was hoping for but i think there are a few reasons for that first off it was very warm it was definitely in the 90s by the time the afternoon hit and that's when it slowed down so i do think a lot of people didn't want to go out in the heat or they were there already and they just wanted to leave and then on top of that i don't think hawaiian themed events have as much of a pull out here in the bay area or I guess not technically Bay Area, but out here in NorCal, as much as like other cultural events. For example, Lumpia Fest in Benicia has a huge pool out here in the Bay Area because there's a huge Filipino community. Even Japanese themed events have a huge pool because people are really interested in Japanese culture, even if there aren't a lot of Japanese people here. So while the numbers were not quite what people had been hoping for, that doesn't change the fact that this event was good. Structurally, it was just as great as the Cherry Blossom Festival back in March. Um, in this location, they tend to reach out to community performers, so like community classes who do any kind of dances that relate to the culture that's currently being celebrated. In this case, they had Tahitian dancers, they had hula dancers, and they had some um, Hawaiian music performers. And like the live performances were just as great as the lion dancers for Chinese New Year or the, the taiko drummers for March. Like it's not like the quality wasn't there. This event was still really good. I just think there happened to be less interest. Personally, I had a great time. I thought the event was really cute. I had really good food and the weather was nice enough for me because i was just sitting in the shade so <laughs> overall i really enjoyed the event i thought it was great um even if the sales weren't quite there typically towards the end of an event i know whether or not i want to come back within like the last hour this event it took me kind of a long time to decide and that's because i did make my minimum that i would find worthwhile for an event like this especially considering the booth fee was really affordable so it didn't take a lot to make that back but this is what i would call a really solid filler event and let me describe to you what i deem a filler event to be to me a good filler event checks these boxes it has an affordable table the commute is reasonable to short. The sales are decent in that I'm able to hit a certain minimum. And then lastly, I've got nothing else going on. Something I've noticed personally is that if I go too long without doing too many events, I get kind of stir crazy. Like <laughs> I was talking to another friend about this too, where it's like, I've got nothing else going on. Why don't I go out and sell, you know? Um, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, I could make more online or whatever, but I'm like, eh. I would just be sitting on the couch, you know, watching TV. At least now I'm sitting in a chair looking at my phone and making money, you know? And I also get to be somewhere cute. So I'm just, I'm that kind of person. I gotta go do something. I just get little like this. I don't wanna be in this house too much. I'll, I'll lose my mind. So any reason for me to get out there and make money is a good enough reason for me. And so because of that, as long as an event like this doesn't interfere with something potentially better, I'm like, why not? We'll go out and do it. I had a good time. I got good food. I'm happy. So that's kind of my conclusion. She was cute. And so long as she doesn't interfere with anything else and I've got the time and energy for it, I'm like, why not? Let's go ahead and do it. I would give this like a 3.9 out of five if I'm rating it because 3.5 feels too low, but four out of five feels too high. So. 3.9 I think is good. I do find this a bit ironic though because based off of previous experiences in these locations that I've sold at before, I thought Aloha Saturday was gonna be really good and I thought Lumpia Fest was just gonna be meh, but those two have like switched. It's just a sign that like, you never really know what you're getting yourself into. Even with the same exact event at the same time of year, there's always some kind of variable. So don't ever bet too much on one event, just, go in with an open mind and be ready to be surprised. It's been really fun branching outside of my normal and going to these different cultural events and finding out what works for me because I'm really learning that there's more out there than I thought that I could be successful at. So that's always great. More money, right? If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe. I come out with new videos like this every Friday. If you want to see my actual art and all my links and you want to shop with me and all the good stuff, I have all of my links in the description box below. For my next vlog, we're headed back to San Jose for SJ Made Summer Fair, which I do have a bit of new inventory to share with you guys. So make sure you're watching for that. But I also have some thoughts about this event and I'll be honest, they're not 
good thoughts. So make sure to tune in and find out exactly what I'm thinking. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. You want no secret? I film on cinematic mode on my phone so that the mess back here is blurred out. You wanna see what it really looks like? <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> I'm like clearing out the office right now, so we've got some. Anyways, back to cinematic mode. <laughs>